Well, this is Artifacts of Mars with an urgent uh, reminder to the fathers of, and for that matter, the mothers of the Covington School, Catholic School uh, boys, who are at the center of a major controversy. And you can see that one, I don't even know his name, he's smirking at that American Indian banging on drum. Sorry, but a uh, smirk or a smile is not an offense. But what's happening is they're, uh, your children are being threatened. Threatened by the very same people who claim that they're for women and children. That is, the left. Your families are being threatened. Your, their school is being threatened. Uh, that cannot be tolerated. Now, thanks to uh, Paul Joseph Watts, uh, Watson for this. Stormy Daniels, I'm suddenly in favor of building a wall around Covington Catholic High School in Kentucky. And let's electrify it to keep those disgusting punks from getting loose and creating more violence in society. That's sick. Uh, uh, Stormy, you are a hu piece of human trash as far as I'm concerned. Now you're threatening uh, kids with incarceration for no reason. They didn't break any laws. In fact, uh, Joseph Watson described it as uh, wanting to put them in concentration camps. Here we have a criminal who is uh, threatening, who is uh, saying shoot at anybody wearing one of those red hats. This is a criminal who should be arrested immediately. House shoes. All right, uh, here we have a dirtbag, Representative John Yarmuth, who should be immediately expelled from the Congress. He's calling for a total and complete shutdown of teenagers wearing MAGA hats until we can figure out what is going on. They seem to be poisoning young minds. No, you're poisoning young minds, you twisted, diseased leftist. I can't believe this is going on. Now here's Fox News. Uh, authorities prepared a safety plan for Covington High School among, amid the threats of violence made against the students following the non, now viral incident in Washington. Threats stem from a video clip that first emerged on Saturday and gave an inaccurate impression of the high school students were harassing a Native American man, Nathan Phillips, following the March for Life rally. The subsequent video footage revealed that the students were accosted and yelled at before Phillips and other American Indian activists approached them. Another group, the so-called Black Hebrew Israelites, were heard shouting in abuse at the students for wearing MAGA hats. Kenton County Commonwealth's attorney Rob Sanders said the Cincinnati, told the Cincinnati Inquirer on Monday that the threats against the school and students are being investigated. It didn't reveal the exact nature of the threats, only that students in the school were being threatened with actual violence. Now, uh, you fathers, you're the father of one of these kids, you're going to have to get ready, because from what I've learned, the uh, leftist media is planning on exposing your addresses to uh, these uh, goon mobs that are out there. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to be ready to defend your homes and your families. That's the bottom line. You have that responsibility. Uh, I watched the shortened video. I haven't found the full length one. That's an hour and like forty minutes long or something like that. But I watched the short video and I didn't see that they did anything wrong. 
I'm sorry, but smiling is not an offense. And I will not stand by and say nothing while these are children that are being threatened. And they're being threatened by the same people, the people on the left. They're being threatened by the same people who claim that they're for women and children. And I will not stand by and say nothing when that is going on. President Trump offered support to the students, accusing the media of smearing teenagers, which they did. Looking like Nick Stan Sandman and Covington School students were treated unfairly with early judgments proving out to be false. Smeared by the media, Trump wrote in a tweet. I'd say that's pretty accurate. This is intolerable, folks. The threatening, the threatening uh, kids, and you fathers, and for that matter, you mothers, you have a responsibility to protect your children, if you can. Uh, if I were you fathers, I would have, you know, if I was one of these fathers, I would have my boomstick ready to go at all time, At all times, because these people are clearly deranged and out of their minds. So, get your boomsticks oiled up. And stand ready. Because this is looking ugly. And there's no reason for it. They're going after these kids because they're more than MAGA hats. That's what it amounts to. These are child abusers that are saying this, by definition. Here's one the a statement of any one of the kids. I did not do that, do not have hateful feelings in my heart, and did not witness any of my classmates doing that. Nick Sandman, a junior at Covington Catholic High School. These are children, and the left is engaging in child abuse. I am Artifacts of Mars. I stand by my statements. Thank you for watching.